here to see the movie. Just wait, let me let me clean the camera real quick. Okay, now we're ready. You're probably wondering how this period even started. Well, after suffering many years of a fierce and bloody revolution, Mexico was shattered, incredibly divided, and deeply hurt. And no one thought they could recover from it. But in the middle of this chaos, there was a new, fresh, and inspiring era arising. The golden age of Mexican cinema. A period that completely changed the way cinema was perceived and hence giving the people a sense of unity and identity that was badly needed. It covered the years from 1936 to 1959. This era transformed how films were made, focusing on high production and quality, and giving Mexico a major economic boost. Historians consider the film Vámonos con Pancho Villa to be the onset of this golden age. Directed by Fernando Fuentes, this movie took everyone by surprise, becoming a way of criticizing through art this outbreak of the political rebellion. Though a great failure its premiere, it is considered today one of the best movies in the history of Mexican cinema. One important factor that contributed to the emergence of this period was World War II. While European countries in the United States were too busy handling a major war, and the respective film industries were suffering, in Mexico, a new and rich film industry was on the rise. Instead of focusing on the monothematic topic of war, like the previous countries, France, Italy and the United States, Mexico took this as an opportunity to provide a beautiful destruction full of charm, comedy, music and icons. The film Allá en el Rancho Grande turned into an instant boom that filled the cinemas with crowds, giving birth to a completely new genre, the so-called Mexican genre, that was all about the Mexican charro singer, horse riding, drinking tequila at the local tavern, wearing prominent hats and seducing the ladies, which eventually led to a style presented in most films. The role models by which the parents of our parents, our parents, and maybe some of us grew up admiring were a crucial part of what made this time so special. Mexicans that are well known all around the globe for their appearance in the seventh art, from the stunning women like Maria Felix and Dolores del Rio to the good looking men like Pedro Infanta and Jorge Negrete, these beloved actors had a major role in attracting audiences and portraying the realistic day to day of the population, regardless of social class from the wealthiest aristocrats to the most humble farmers. According to many, this was the reason why the golden age of Mexican cinema became so successful. It was approachable. No matter who was watching the film, everyone got a chance to see themselves projected on the big screen. In the end, it is amazing seeing how these films made in the past have had such a great impact in our present. From the way certain elements have become national symbols, to seeing how these movies have inspired entire generations and kids just like me. Nonetheless, it's really important to understand the great power art itself has. It can capture an entire era and teach us all about it. But let's not forget two things. One, Mexico is truly talented, but sometimes we just don't believe it. And two, the spirit isn't over. It's just beginning. Así se lleva México en la piel